Let's talk Wall Street and IPOs for a second here, yes. Ryan, because it looks like we're looking at a return for initial public offering. Um, chip design firm Arm Holdings targeting a $54 billion valuation in its much-anticipated IPO later today. It's getting priced tonight. Uh, it's expected to be priced between $47 and $51 a share. Uh, the uh, company will start trading tomorrow on NASDAQ. Then you've got shoe company Birkenstock. It filed for an IPO yesterday. Target valuation there, more than $7 billion. And then there's Instacart uh, looking at a $9.3 billion valuation. This is a good sign that IPOs are coming back. I mean, companies would yes. not decide to go public if they didn't feel good about things, right? No, I think we need to see the capital markets opened up. And I think a lot of this is actually driven by interest rates. We kind of know we're at the end of monetary policy being tightened by the Fed. Maybe we have mo one more interest rate hike. Maybe we don't. But I think that's what bankers were looking for. They wanted some clarity. Companies want clarity around what like, you know, financing costs are going to look like. So I think that's a big part of it. We had like $14 billion in IPO money raised this year. That's like abysmal, uh, abysmal. comparatively. So you know. the, the yes. capital markets was a major issue for the financial services earnings. That, that's where, I mean, they, they were, there was a dearth of IPOs, uh, and, and they need this. A hundred percent, yeah. But I, as an investor, I know you guys are different. You're managing money um, for lots of people. But as an investor, I was told, don't buy on the first day. Oh, yeah. Never buy the IPO on the first day. I mean, at this point, I, I suspect that companies like Arm are pretty overvalued here. Uh, Birkenstock uh, blows my mind. I wouldn't wear in Birkenstocks 10 years ago. They were like the worst looking shoe. But I can see Adam in a pair of those now. They're comfortable. Now, now it's like a high luxury shoe. Adam can wear those with that, that handsome never, suit. No. But I also mentioned just another important point on those capital markets opening up. That's great for financial stocks, which didn't do as well this year as the S&P 500. Valuations are much cheaper than tech. You know, I've been a big believer in skating where the puck is, my Wayne Gretzky strategy of you want to be really investing where, you know, where, where the, the puck is going. Thank you. Where the puck is going. And I think right now financials look great from the perspective of if capital markets are opening up, they trade cheaply. Uh, dividend yields are very attractive on companies like Goldman Sachs. Uh, so from that perspective right now, like this is where you want to start allocating capital. My, my one thesis is cash is trash. I know you're getting 5% sitting in cash right now, but if the Fed starts cutting interest rates next year, that 5% all of a sudden is 3%. You're missing a tremendous opportunity in the market and locking into long-term well, bonds.